This video will introduce you to our first 3D command, that being the extrude tool. The bracket you see on screen is simply made up of four extrudes from the initial sketch. When beginning 3D modeling, it is best to carefully observe the physical object or your proposed design and try and answer the following questions. Number one, what side or face has the most design detail? And this will be the best one to go through and sketch, that being this front face, for this instant. Number two, what 3D command may I need to apply? Or what's the overall three-dimensional form? Is it predominantly a rectangular prism? Is it uh, cylindrical? Is it a uh, pyramid, etc.? And last of all, if it's a physical object, how was it manufactured? So carefully look at for seams, and this would suggest that it's molded from two different forms that are then joined together. And this should assist with how you go through and model your design. Now I've all copied this design from the VCAA technical drawing handbook, which includes a dimensioned orthogonal. And if you're unfamiliar with uh, orthogonals and their drawing conventions, there's a video on my channel that focuses upon that. So we should be able to use this information to produce uh, 3D model infusion by simply looking at <clears throat> the dimensions along with being able to translate the information in terms of these line conventions. It's also accompanied with an isometric as a three-dimensional uh, visualization of it. Now we'll go back into fusion and you're going to want to go through and create a sketch and select the sketch face that you want to be drawing upon. So the origin, that best being that front face as it selects. I'm going to go through and edit my original sketch just to make it a bit quicker. So edit sketch. You'll notice I've got two. This one's relating to that first sketch that we're just looking at, or sorry, bracket. This is the one you're going to want to go through and copy that information. So I suggest you pause the video shortly as you go through and sketch the front view of the bracket before we apply our first extrusion. How I've gone through and created this is using the line tool for that detailing around the outside and the detailing down below here. I've used the circular and arc tool to get that detail. The construction line just to identify where the midpoints of those are. And last of all, the dimensioning all around the outside um, for clarity. So let's start our first extrusion. To go through and complete that, you're creating a solid form. So you're removing, um, getting out of the sketch mode and going to solid. And then selecting this icon here. So extrude or the hotkeys E adds depth to open or close sketch profiles or faces. Select that and you'll have the extrude palette. I also suggest changing the view to the front corner so then we can see when the extrude has been applied. Profiles, we wanna be selecting that main body. Start, I'll be looking at changing any of that. Direction, one side, extent, leave as distant. And so you can type in the distance or you can drag it. So we want it to be 30 to there. The next option we have is taper angle, which we don't want to apply a taper, but what that does is a demonstration there. And we want the operation to be a new body. So we'll go OK. And there's our first um, extrusion. You might have noticed that now we have a body in our browser. A body is produced as a 3D command is applied. And so we can turn them on and off. And so bodies are three dimensional forms. You might have also noticed our sketches disappeared. Okay. Fusion just um, changes the visibility to invisible uh, when a body is created. So turn that back on because we're going to be applying an extrusion down below. And then down that timeline, we'll have our sketch. And now you'll have another feature, which will be that extrude. I've got additional ones from that other bracket, so I can select that. And so if I go to edit my sketch, 
I'll have edit sketch. But if I go to edit, this will have edit feature. Okay, so a feature is another term used in Fusion to symbolize a 3D command. So any 3D commands are referred to as features. <clears throat> now we're gonna look at applying our next extrusion. This time I'm gonna highlight the difference between the press pull and the extrude tool. Okay, so press pull, you might have opened up Fusion and sort of under, been a bit uh, unsure or curious why there is a press pull and extrude when it looks like they do exactly the same thing. The press pull is a little bit more intelligent in a way as it, as it states, modifies the selected geometry using offset, extrude or filler command. This operation depends upon the geometry selected. So we'll select press pull and we'll have our press pull palette. We'll select our profile and now notice that it changes to the extrude. We This time we want to change the direction to two-sided. We want the first side to have a distance of 30. Uh, sorry, not 300, but 30, so it goes all the way back there. The second distance we want to be 10, as outlined in our orthogonal. This little foot to be 10, the overall distance to be 30, and this portion here that gets cut out later on, we want that to be 10 as well. Uh, you might have noticed the operation has changed to a join, which is exactly what we want. We could have had it as a new body as well, so then there'd be separate bodies uh, later on, but in this case, we want this part to be all joined together. And I have forgotten an additional profile, so I'll just select that other little area over there and that will update. When we're happy with that, select OK. Now we're gonna apply another extrude to this portion here and extrude that back 30 as well and just rotate around, that's correct. Once again, it's applying the join, exactly what we want. Select okay. Last extrude function is selecting that once again and we wanna push that in 10 mil. Notice how it has turned to a red highlight. This is Fusion um, showing the, the user that we're essentially removing this material, okay? And we're, it's applied an operation as a cut, which is correct. The distance of 10 millimeters, and that's uh, all correct there. The other operation that you can also be producing, that will be producing it on ours, is an intersect, so you can see that operation applied there. But let's go back to a cut, and be applying that cut. So you successfully created that bracket, well done. Last of all, just wanna highlight how we've gone through and produced this overall design. Uh, stop there, whoops. Go through that first stage, just show that sketch. And now, so we've, this is obviously the sketch. We can then go through that first extrude these are relating to that other bracket. Second extrude, third and final. Thanks for watching.